Hi, I'm David Cantor with the Law Offices of David Michael Cantor, and today I'm going to talk about how to get property from an inmate who is housed in the Maricopa County Jail System. That means they have something and you need to get it. First of all, the inmate puts in a tank order and they will actually set the location of the pickup. Usually it's in the lobby of the jail of where they're housed. Now the pickup person uh, needs to have a current, valid, government-issued ID when they show up. Passport, driver's license, DMV ID card, etc. Uh, no, uh, no Sam's Club IDs or swap meet IDs. Also, uh, if you have an immigration card um, or a visa, those are okay as long as you have a valid ID. Now, it's very common for an inmate who's in the jail system, if they've pled guilty and now they received a prison sentence and they're going to be transferred to DOC, the Department of Corrections, they will fill out what's called a DOC release form and they'll designate who's supposed to pick up their property. Here's the problem. If you do not show up within 10 days to pick up that property, it's destroyed, it's thrown away. So make sure you show up to pick it up. Now a lot of inmates get picked up and their bond is set or they're non-bondable and when they showed up they had their wallet or their purse and they have cash and credit cards and cell phones, etc. Now that's usually when the inmate says, hey, I want you to come and pick up my wallet or a spouse will say, look, I need your credit card so I can pay bills, I need uh, certain other things. I need your phone so we can contact certain other people. That's the time they'll normally set it for release in the lobby. Now with inmate, uh, with money from an inmate, this can be released by an inmate to place on their own books so they can shop at the canteen. Uh, and they can usually do that within 72 hours of being booked. Now if it's more than 72 hours, the jail commander has to approve that. And sometimes the jail commanders will say, no, it's too late. You waited a week too bad. Well, all the inmate has to do is say, fine, I'm going to release my money to my loved one, and once that money is released to the loved one, they can put it on the inmate's books while they're in the jail. And we have a whole video, if you go to dmcanner.com, that talks about how to place money on an inmate's books. Normally you do it at the kiosk in the lobby, and it's self-explanatory, and there's fees involved. Now, if you have any questions, call the Sheriff's Information Management System, or SIMS, phone line at 602-876-0322. If you want to call the individual jails, we list all of the jails and their phone numbers on our website at dmcantor.com. Now this information is good as of today's date, but it's always changing, so you may want to call prior to going down uh, to the jail to get property. Um, if your loved one is sitting in jail and they haven't been convicted of anything yet, they're in the pretrial phase, call us at 602-307-0808 or go to dmcantor.com and fill out a contact us form. We'll be happy to do a free 30-minute consultation in our office. Doesn't cost you anything, but it takes about 30 minutes. We'll go over the case from top to bottom, and hopefully we can find a way out of this for your loved one. If they have pled guilty but haven't been sentenced, again, call us. Uh, perhaps we can get the lower end of the sentencing range at the sentencing. And lastly, if they've been sentenced and convicted already, uh, call us. We can do post-conviction relief petitions, appeals, or sentence modifications, where maybe we can get the sentence reduced or the whole case thrown out on a technicality. Uh, again, we look forward to hearing from you soon. Good luck with getting the property um, from your loved one, but give us a call at 602-307-0808 or uh, go to our website, dmcanner.com. We look forward to seeing you soon. Take care.